bisphosphonates. An example is alandronate and other drugs that end in dronate. Mechanism of action, it is a pyrophosphate analog. It binds to hydroxy appetite in bone, inhibiting osteoclast activity. A brief little review of osteoclasts. These are multinucleated cells that dissolve bone by secreting acid and collagenases. So osteoclasts dissolve bone. Bisphosphonates inhibit the osteoclast activity. So they keep bones from dissolving. A way to remember that osteoclasts dissolve bone is by looking at that little C right there in osteoclasts and making the connection that osteoclasts crush bone or dissolve bone. This is opposed to the osteoblasts which build bone by secreting collagen and catalyzing mineralization. B, that little B in there, the osteoblasts build bone, whereas the osteoclasts with the C dissolve or they crush bone. The bisphosphonates inhibit osteoclast activity, thereby keeping bones from dissolving. So it should make sense that bisphosphonates are used to treat osteoporosis, hypercalcemia, and Paget disease of bone. A few brief comments about osteoporosis. Primary osteoporosis involves trabecular, that is spongy, bone losing mass and interconnections despite normal bone mineralization and lab values. That's something the examiners can totally ask you, perhaps describing a case of osteoporosis and then asking you about what lab values to expect. And with osteoporosis, serum calcium and serum phosphate are all going to be normal. Alkaline phosphatase and PTH also will be normal in osteoporosis. What osteoporosis is really is dealing with is just a decrease in bone mass and this can be caused by all types of things for example long-term exogenous steroid use along with anticonvulsants anticoagulants and thyroid replacement therapy few brief comments about Paget disease of bone it involves abnormal mosaic bone architecture it's a common localized disorder of bone remodeling caused by an increase in both osteoblastic and also osteoclastic activity the only lab values that are increased in Paget disease of bone is alkaline phosphatase, ALP. Serum calcium, serum phosphorus, and PTH levels will be normal. Another high yield point for Paget disease of bone is that there's an increased risk of osteogenic sarcoma. I want to close up by just briefly mentioning some side effects of the bisphosphonates. Some really unique and high yield side effects worth knowing is corrosive esophagitis and also osteonecrosis of the jaw. Because of this side effect of corrosive esophagitis, patients advise to take bisphosphonates with water and remain upright for 30 minutes. First aid for the USMLE includes this as a way of trying to reduce the chances of patients getting corrosive esophagitis. So this is just some high yield review on bisphosphonates. Don't forget to check in the description below for some additional information on the topic and you can find the references there as well.